Brace yourself for a jaw-dropping moment as a Karen takes things to the extreme, turning a simple arrest into a full-blown meltdown. I'm gonna tase you. Why are you tasing me? Why are you arresting 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 me? This is one encounter that escalates fast, and you won't want to miss how it all unfolds. What happens when a routine highway accident takes a shocking turn? Discover how one driver's erratic behavior and defiance escalated a simple collision into a dramatic legal battle. Do you understand why? No! And you were planning to pull your pants down in the middle of the road. No! No! On July 10th, 2024, a seemingly ordinary highway collision escalated into a complex and troubling situation. As officers responded to the accident, one driver's erratic behavior and resistance added a layer of difficulty to the already challenging scene. How much of a 1038? Yeah. Um, I ran the plates. Young lady, you were going straight, he turned into your lane, correct? What happened? Well, we... He's asking what happened in the accident. I don't know what happened the accident. only thing I remember is she's saying, were you in this lane or that lane? I'm not going to say what lane. Are you getting sick? I know you were really upset when I got here. Are you getting no issues? Okay, so um, what, what's the problem? What's the accident? Accident problem. I, I need to know why. What's the accident and the problem? My question is, oh, do you need medical? Do you need an ambulance to come check you? Okay. Once again, do you need medical to come check you? You will not answer me. Why is that? Because the last time I said that to the police, okay, I so, was in a concussion and they didn't give up. So, I don't know who you're talking about, but this is me. We're not talking I about I was in my car and somebody got in an accident with, with one of my car. The driver, visibly agitated and uncooperative, repeatedly failed to provide coherent details about the accident or her condition. This lack of clarity not only frustrated the responding officers, but also complicated the investigation. Her agitation raised immediate concerns about her mental state and potential impairment. One of my friends got in an accident. Okay, but now, concussion. we're not talking about and anybody else. We're talking about me I and you. Trust the you need to do is talk to me so that I know if you need medical attention. Are you injured? Are you are you, did you are you having a medical episode right now? No. So I need to know. Did you hit your head? I don't know. You don't know if you hit when your head. But when you're in an accident, do you know what you hit? Oh, do you I hit pain? my head when I was in the accident. Then it really What's going on? Did he have Uh, this complaint is not making sense. So let me write it down for you. When I was in my car and I was trying to explain to the police that I didn't understand what was going to happen. You know, in a car accident, blah, 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 and you don't understand what's happening. Okay, I didn't understand what was happening. They didn't charge me for drinking, I don't age, whatever. I was like, okay, it's fine. Um, they didn't know what to do. And, okay, so we're talking about this accident. I don't know about any other accident. Oh, Why do we need to discuss this? Accident. But this one, you don't know what happened. They said that they... Stop, but they hit me when I was going So I talked to the guy. Which guy? The guy in the car? Yeah. Or the officer that's standing right here? The guy that was on the accident, he was like, I'm sorry, I didn't really know that you were there. But I was like, I had my blinkers on. Were you driving in this lane here or that lane there? I was not planning on Where were you planning to go? I was going to my house in Delray. Delray, that way. Yeah. Despite offers of medical assistance, the driver initially refused help, heightening concerns about her well-being. The officers were faced with a challenging situation, balancing the need to ensure her health with the necessity of addressing potential impairment and legal violations. You're going north. Delray is south. So we're going northbound. Okay, do me a favor. Sit in the car for me. Do you have a license with you? Yeah. Let me get your license. I'm not going to be to like have... Are you going to what? I'm sorry? Say that again? Probable cause. Probable cause to what? You had an accident. Okay, so what is she doing? Who is she? I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know what she's doing. Are... What she are you pointing at? There's no she. So what, what are they doing? 
but I'm talking to you now. So I can pay him whatever they want. But okay, you can whatever you what's want. happening right now. The accident. So can pull a We're gonna talk to them after we talk to you. No. Are you the registered owner of the car? Yeah. Okay. But I don't understand what the Where you, where are you coming from home? My parents disowned me, so it's Where are you coming from home right now? So where you live? Are you coming from where you live? Yeah, so it's... Uh, we're gonna have uh, EMS what? check you. So we're gonna have EMS check you, okay? You, are you understanding me? Yeah, I understand you guys want EMS to check me out. Yeah, to the ambulance right here. Is there a reason? Because I don't give a away the ambulance is. Because what? I don't give a Pick me up here. This, there's a problem here, then we'll pick me up right here. Do you have your ID with you? This so is the EMS who's going to check you out, okay? Oh my God. Just, he's just going to make sure. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just getting your information. That's it. I'm not doing anything. My leg up? No, she wants to I'm good. I got it. Okay, so. Is it okay if we go ahead and check you out to make sure that there's nothing going on? When medical personnel arrived at the scene to assess the suspect's health, they faced a significant challenge. She refused to provide any information about her condition. This stubbornness not only complicates the medical assessment process, but could also impact crucial legal decisions. Is her silence a legal strategy to protect her rights, or simply an act of defiance? Stay tuned to uncover the details of this tense situation and the potential legal consequences that may follow. I'm all out of balance if she is. She has a history of 20, which we just saw, okay. and resist last month. Okay. But we don't know any other 14 why she resisted. Doesn't matter, but she's not saying she's, she's not giving us a medical history. She's not saying she's on meds or nothing. She's she be more likely to talk to her mom. No, she's not. Well, he thinks, he, I asked him, he's smiling and he's like, I'm not sure if I smile. I don't smile at him either. And um, she walked free. I'm not going to touch you. She, they're just going yeah, to check you to make sure you're okay. Give us your, your finger. finger. Let's check your shoe. Oh, yeah, so you drank alcohol this morning? Yeah, I didn't drink alcohol this morning. I didn't drink alcohol this morning. Can you stop asking me questions? I'm going to answer them when I want to. Is that enough? Are you going to pee in your car? I don't give a where I pee. I have to pee. I don't want to pee. But. Yeah, Alright, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -uh. No, you're not doing it. Malika, Malika, look at me. Look at me. Oh, look at me. Hey. Okay. You tell us something else in the handcuffs. Where are you going to pee? Right pee? I don't give a You have to watch me pee out. Go ahead. Do it and you're going to be placed in hand. You know what? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, play. Lord. Get me out of it. Huh? Because give it, you're, it's unlawful arrest. Yeah, I'm lost still with you. If you want a also with you, I will do it. Right. So let me go. Let me I'm leaving. Let me go. Let I have to pee. Me. I didn't do this for you. Why is that easy? Let me go. You want to see every unit? Oh, oh. So not okay, you. Put you in my car, sorry. Hi, I'm not going in your car. Listen. I don't give a Calm down. I haven't done anything. Calm down. Good job. But what have I done to be in this year? Right. Listen. We're just trying to help you. You had an accident. Okay. I don't even know what the f is going on right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pee. You guys don't even know what you're doing. You put me in a handcuff. There's something curious that happens the moment the handcuffs snap onto her wrists. Suddenly, the suspect has an urgent need to visit the restroom. Could this be a last ditch attempt to delay the inevitable? Little does she know, the officers have encountered this tactic countless times before, and no amount of stalling is going to get those cuffs off. Do you understand why? No! And you were planning to pull your pants down in the middle of the road. Can I go pee? I was going to get my car! I don't care. I was going to say. They're here to help you the same way we are. No, they're not. Yeah, we are. No, no. Are you helping yourself just, right now? Can I please get off of these handcuffs and pee and like whatever? Where are you going to pee? Can I pee in my car? You can't pee it's in my car. Privacy. Actually, I can. She just wants to check and see if I you're okay, okay? Sure you're okay. It's my car. Okay. Because you guys are doing things hey, without my sure permission. And so I'm like, okay. don't touch me! Don't! Relax. You're hurting me! Relax! Okay. Okay. Look at me! Look at me! Let I'm him here. go over me! Let me find you! You're hurting me! Hey, 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 Hey,
The situation took a rapid turn for the worse as the driver fiercely resisted arrest, escalating her aggression towards the officers. Her outburst, which included threats and physical resistance, quickly transformed a routine stop into a volatile confrontation. Watch closely as the driver's attitude shifts dramatically, setting the stage for an intense legal battle. I don't want them. It's really hurting right now. You're loosening them. It should be comfortable. Oh, no. All right. This is Malaika. Malaika? Who is Angel? You have a phone number? Oh, okay. Please stop hurting me. What the f? Do you even have a wife? Malaika, hey. Malaika. Malaika. Do you have the right to put me in? Let's go to the other car. No! I'm with you. No! I'm, with you. Uh, I'm not gonna go. No! I have your shoe. For what? Because you're going this way and I'm following you, okay? For, what? For your safety, we're gonna get you out of the road, okay? For your safety, okay? You're hurting me so bad right now. No! For your safety, we're gonna have you wait inside this air conditioned vehicle, okay? No! You can't do that! My arm is hurting! My arm is hurting! Get in the car. No, no. Get in the car. I'm not going! 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 i Has anyone ever warned you just how bad things can get when the police start putting on their gloves? Well, this female driver is about to find out firsthand. As the tension rises, so does the realization that she's in deeper trouble than she ever imagined. You wanna just get her in a proper seat position? Well, I tried. She's gonna kick and everything. I don't care. Sweetheart, listen, if you look at the size of me, I'm going to put you in that seat one way or another. I know you're upset. Listen, you're upset, you're upset, okay? Well here. Can you sit in the seat? Can you sit in the seat for me so I don't have to physically put you in it? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Sit down on your own. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. Bring your feet in. Despite multiple attempts to de-escalate the situation and provide assistance, the confrontation ended with the driver being physically restrained and arrested. The woman was charged with battery on a peace officer and resisting arrest. Battery on a peace officer involves intentionally making physical contact with an officer, while resisting arrest refers to actively hindering or opposing law enforcement efforts. Both charges carry significant legal consequences, underscoring the importance of cooperation with police during such incidents. What are your thoughts on the escalation of this situation? Do you think the driver's refusal to cooperate and subsequent resistance were justified? Share your opinions and discuss the implications of such behavior on legal outcomes. On August 2nd, 2024, officers were dispatched to handle a situation involving a woman who had been previously banned from a property but had returned. What started as a routine trespassing call quickly escalated into a heated confrontation. The woman's defiant attitude and confrontational behavior set the stage for a dramatic escalation. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to tase you. 
Why are you chasing me? Why are you <laughs> As the situation escalated, the woman's resistance grew more intense. Despite the officer's repeated efforts to de-escalate and handle the situation calmly, she continued to defy arrest and aggressively challenge them. This left the police with no choice but to resort to more forceful measures to bring the situation under control. During her detainment, the woman's complaints of breathing difficulties and pain added another layer of complexity to the encounter. Officers, grappling with the dual demands of managing an arrest and addressing health concerns, placed her in a recovery position while continuing to handle the situation. This moment underscored the challenges law enforcement faces in balancing safety and protocol. Help me, sir! Help me! All right. Help me, We're sir! On the side. Hey. Here, here, oh, I want to eat you up. I swear to God, I have a dad. Lean get up, lean up. Get off of me. Get off of me. Pick up that side. So we can... I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Okay. Right, let's put her in recovery. I'm hurting. You know, just let her fucking lay there for now. Yes. Hold on. Just put her in like a recovery. Please, don't no, be a left guy. Help me get on the camera, please. Just help me. Naturally, getting the woman into the police car was no easy task for the officers. Why am I under arrest, sir? Probably don't listen. It's Coach of May. Coach of May, get in the car. Come on, go. Coach of May, go. Hey, hey, oh, it's, too it's too late for that. It's too late for that. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my right. dog? All right. All right. Where's my dog? 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 All right, take a seat for me and we'll work everything out. Oh, okay. Take a seat. You got your legs I got right? my UGG on, you know. Your I got my UGG. Yep. Yeah, my UGG apparel. Yep. Deeper in there. Let's there you go. Her. Okay. All right. What are we talking about? Throughout the ordeal, the woman's insistence on her innocence and her demands for legal representation reflected her mounting frustration. Her claims of having a lawyer and her emotional outbursts intertwined with her arrest revealing the personal stakes and legal nuances at play. Right, Boys in blue? First, okay? That's him? I didn't do anything. You have to write to me, Simon. I didn't do anything wrong for anything that you want. Exactly, I didn't do anything wrong. Are you not make any statements? Are you not make any statements? 
Where's you the lawyer? Your everything to you? May I have my lawyer? Okay, 1957. She's already passed the flow, right? The blow test, the sobriety test. Let me get the sobriety test, sir. She was kicking you, right? Yes, he was. She was she's attempting to kick. I saw it. She's going with the salt on peel. Times two? Uh, she was just mostly kicking, Vinny, so. Okay. Just the one. Cricket, we're like, you can't do that. Do you know them over there? They won't sell me wacky tobacco. Now, let me ask you this. What's up? We live in the same apartment. It's her? Mm -hmm. For her not to come around me because she said some shit as she was leaving and I didn't get it on video. Yeah. I started recording it. I basically told her, I said, if you come around me with some shit like that, yeah. my wife will handle it. Certain things I get away with, certain things I can't. Um, but she's very obviously mentally unstable. I I'm the one that told her now, and I'm the one that caused us today. Right? Yeah. Um, she said, "Oh, I'll be it, back with my gun." It's okay. Obviously, tried to avoid contact or not. She's starting shit in the apartment. Mm -hmm. um, you could also try and get a uh, civil protection order down at the courthouse. Courthouse work. Uh, I can't say if they'll grab yeah, one or not. Absolutely. That's up to them. Right. But you right, could you definitely have, try. Let me run in here and grab him. And I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The aftermath saw the woman expressing strong dissatisfaction with the arrest process and questioning the legal grounds for her detainment. Her reactions included not only criticism of the police, but also reflections on her future actions and political aspirations. This case highlights how personal emotions and legal issues can intersect in unexpected ways, leading to complex outcomes. What are you taking me to jail for? I don't know. You don't even know? No sabe? No say? You don't even have a reason. You're just a boy in blue, right? Yep. Did you know that? Did you know that? All right, well. Okay. Don't worry, I got an attorney, a good one, a damn good one. Kenneth Loop. $5,000 he costs. I suggest you slow down, sir. I'm in the car. Can you have a little respect? It's my last day on earth, okay? Can you get these off of me? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm gonna throw up in the back of your car, sir. I have white girl all in my mouth. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, take it easy. You're gonna be saying that when you're shitting yourself when you got how many guys on you? Shouldn't have arrest, Trespassing for what? It's a drive through right, It's not Indian land? Whose land is it? George Washington? Are you historically buff? For what? Probably the same stuff you did today. That's the problem. With right? That's the problem. That's the problem with the system, isn't it? Okay. It's okay. Somebody's coming for me. Are you cutting it? Are you cutting it? Are you cutting it? Are you breaking it? Can we not bob and weave traffic like we're 90? I'm sorry. Can you function that computer and operate at the same time? Are you able to do that, sir? There wasn't even a man that I was trespassing on. He got all the lock leprechauns laughing on the end of the rainbow. You got it, sir. I'll make sure that I speak every piece of word, every piece of mind, everything for this land, the city of Illyria. I'm running for governor, did you know that? I'm going door to door. She was subsequently taken to jail. The police confirmed that the woman was arrested for trespassing and obstructing justice. What's your take on this intense clash between the woman and the police? Did the officer's actions seem justified, or could the situation have been handled differently? Share your thoughts and join the conversation about the delicate balance between enforcing the law and respecting individual rights. Watch as Christina's encounter with police at an outlet mall turns into a high-stakes drama. No! No! On August 5th, 2024, we witness Christina's grand debut in defiance, refusing to cooperate with the police while insisting she's done nothing wrong. She turns resisting arrest into an Olympic sport, struggling and kicking as if she's auditioning for a role in a high stakes action movie. Convincing her to cooperate is clearly going to be harder than winning the lottery. All right, miss. Who's gonna stop? Get my phone, no, 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 no,
As the situation unfolds, Christina's struggle intensifies. She kicks and fights as officers try to restrain her, vehemently denying that she's the person they are seeking. Her physical resistance, combined with her claims of being falsely accused, highlights the challenges officers face when dealing with individuals who are not only uncooperative, but also deeply frightened. That's not me! Ma'am, don't pick up another charge. Don't, don't scratch us. Let me go. You're scratching. That's okay. Roll around. Let me go. Right here. Roll on this side. Right here. Please. Help me. Please, Jeff. Put these legs. Thank you. We're okay. You're okay. You're just going to lay here on your side. All right? Come on, stop fighting us. Please stop fighting us. Please. Please, 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 Christina persisted in resisting kicking and fighting back as officers work to calm her and address her injuries. Throughout the ordeal, she repeatedly insisted that she had done nothing wrong and demanded medical attention. Please help Are you injured at all? Yes. Okay, do you need an ambulance? No. Okay. No, no, just no, 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 We're just gonna sit you up just like right here. Just breathe. I'm scared. Okay. I don't wanna die. Help me out. Hey, can you just get the ammo? She's got a little cut right here. No, I'm good. I'm okay. That ain't me. That's this girl. Okay. She don't like Stop fighting us. Okay. I just told you that. What's in me? No, I'm not going nowhere. Just don't. Don't kill me, I ain't never did nothing. That wasn't mine. Hey, oh, we're gonna get an ammo. No, no, that's it, I don't wanna die. I'm scared. Christina's escalating distress and pleas to avoid jail provide a vivid glimpse into her fear and anxiety. While her request for hospitalization instead of incarceration raises questions about whether this is a genuine mental health crisis or a strategic ploy to evade arrest. I know they're going to take me away. Bring her out here. No. Can you get to your feet, please? No. They're doing it on, they doing it on purpose. My name is Deborah Williams. And you operate your feet? Yes. I'm not doing nothing. That's not me. So that it doesn't. So that it doesn't. Sir, I'm telling you. I don't want, I'm telling you. It's not me. Come on out here, man. You're trying to kill me. We're going to have medics come take a look at you. I'm going to let you guys come get you. Yeah, let's get to a curb by the parking lot. Let me get her shoes. They're doing it on purpose. Oh. They got somebody who's going to kill me. These are girls from back in the days, they won't. Listen, none of us, none of us want to hurt you. Yeah, so, but I so didn't please stop anything. fighting with us, okay? I didn't even make it nowhere. How do you know that's why we were trying to talk to you? No, I don't know if that's why. You just started fighting with us right away. No, I didn't, I'm scared. Despite the police's continuous efforts to de-escalate the situation, Christina remained fearful and resistant, adamantly denying any theft and pleading for help to avoid jail. I don't want them killing me. Okay, well, none of us are trying to hurt you, right? Yeah, so. but I don't trust the police. Okay. And I didn't take nothing. Just a, just a backpack. I didn't take shit. But, hey, but I'm not federal. Yeah. Can we get somebody from Nike? I just want to have that as official. I don't, I don't want to go to jail. I'm scared they're going to take me away from my... Christina? I just don't want to go to jail. When, when was the last time you were arrested? When was the last time you went to jail? Like 10 years ago, sir. 10 years ago. I never did nothing. Listen, a, a lot's Please. changed in the last 10 yeah, years. Yeah, but you're not going this Since the last time? You're not, going, you're not going to these cars. You know where I'm going. Please. All by yourself? I'll, I'll, I'll turn the east. No, no I'm not doing anything, sir. No, 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 They're no, going to no, kill no, me, sir. No, no, I can't no, leave, no, sir. Call her. Call my mom, please, sir. Please. Okay, can I get in a regular car? It doesn't look good. No, 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 more room in More the van than car. I don't want to go in there, sir. Please, don't let him take me. You have, it, it's, easier, it's easier to breathe in the van than the car. Can I sit in the front? Yeah, sit in the front. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to die. No, right here. No, you can't no. go in that one. I don't want to go in the van, sir. You're going to kill me. Yeah, you'll be fine. I'm scared. And it's a short ride. Okay, sir, I'm scared. I just don't want to die. I understand. That's it. 
Christina's anxiety intensified as she continued to resist being placed into the police vehicle. Not in a, not in a patty wagon, right, sir. I'm scared. I don't want to go to jail. Not in the van. We can't do that. Please, you got sir. a camera roll? Yes, and I feel with him. Thank you. You can't. No, you're not, go, you're not going up there. I just don't want to die, sir. Can I have something to drink? Oh, Thank you. Important. I'm too scared. I don't want to suffocate and die. I'm not You're a prisoner. You're going to have to go in here, okay? No, go. sir. I'm going to be honest Please, with you. Please, sir. The back one is bigger. Do you Please. want to go in there? No, I'm not going to happen. I didn't do nothing. Please okay, put me in the front. Okay. You're going to the front. Okay. So. In this one? No, I don't want to go He's in not, there. He doesn't mean the front seat. I want to sit in the front with him. Oh, take a step over here. I want to sit in the back. I'm Just scared. take a step over here and look. Sir. You see how you can yeah, see through? You can see all the windows. No, I will sit. Can I sit in that row there? I can't breathe. Please, sir. I don't want to die. Please. Dealing with suspects like this requires immense patience, a challenge that not everyone can easily overcome. The officer's most crucial task now is to safely and securely transport her into the prisoner transport vehicle. No, sir! I can't breathe! Right, good job. No, sir! I want to suffocate me, please! Please, y'all! Watch your head! I'm scared! Watch your head! I don't want to die! I'm going to the hospital, y'all! You said you don't want to go to the hospital! I'm going to the hospital! For what? Just sign the things you don't want to go! No, sir, please! You please sit down! No! If I let go of you, you're going to fall! Step in there! I can't breathe in there, sir! It's too hot! They are scared. Get in there. Come on. Can't no, I'm scared. No, please. No, I can't go out. I'm never going to do anything with you. Come on. No, I don't want them taking me away. I can't breathe. You're going to no, fall. Please, sir. You fight this sir. Up there. Not in here, sir. No, let's go. Me, sir, please. Please, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, my God. Stop it. I can't breathe back here. Sir, you don't suffocate and kill me. Thank you. Now she got her hand out. No. Take me hold on, hold on. We got a copper. She got a hand out. Talk, talk to me. Stop. 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 I know. I have her arm. She slipped out. She I will do anything. No, I'm not going to hit you. you just I'll do anything not face. to die. I'll do anything not to die, sir. All right, hey, we're not going to fight with her in the back of the van. Listen, Listen sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Talk to me. I know y'all. No. Put your hand behind your back. No, please, help me. That's still double lock. No. Yeah. So you Make two. One double lock is tough. Please, help me. Stop, it's okay. I don't know okay. her. Relax. I don't know them. Right, they lying. Put your hand behind your back. You're tough. I'm not a prisoner. Let's go. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a prisoner, you guys. I don't want them killing me. Please. I don't know. I'm not. Yes, it is. I'm scared. All right. Why am I going? Don't move her yet. We got a double lock. This is tight knees. Okay. Let's get, that's good. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, there's no reason to get up. Take our time. No. Please. Let's have multiple people that go there. Well, that's it. Uh, that's. Please, you guys. She ain't getting out of that. Please. Harley, hold on, How grab a feet, we're just gonna carry her. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will walk, walk, You're not giving us any no, choice. Help me up. You're gonna help walk me. in there. I'm scared they're gonna kill okay. me. Please Are help you me. going to walk in there? Yes, sir. I don't wanna die, never You're not gonna die. I'm a, I you will make sure you don't die, sir. okay? Hey, well, I don't wanna die. No, I'm scared. Listen to me, sir. Please, please don't get out of here. I have two babies. Please, please don't kill me. No. There you go. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't Please. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Please. Do not shed it, sir. I can't breathe. Please. Hold on. Finally, the officer successfully brought her into custody, addressing her concerns while ensuring she was handled with proper care and security. Christina faced serious charges, including resisting arrest, two counts of felony retail theft, and felony aggravated battery. Her case serves as a stark reminder of the importance of complying with police directives and the severe consequences that arise from continued criminal activity. Understanding and adhering to the law are crucial for maintaining order and avoiding serious legal consequences. Let's dive into the next case, where officers had their hands full with a self-proclaimed drama queen. As her temper flared, the situation escalated, leaving both staff and guests in disbelief. This is one meltdown you won't wanna miss, you grab me again and I will get you for un- uh, It doesn't matter, she's going to jail. 
I'm here, I'm here. Please! I'm tired! No! I'm tired of this bullshit! You're not gonna yell at me! I just Walk yell away. at you! We're done. Oh, uh. On February 2nd, 2023, tensions flared at a long-term hotel when police were called to handle a fiery eviction. Haley, a guest being forced out for unpaid bills, turned the situation into a battleground, accusing the hotel staff of racial discrimination and demanding a full refund. As the standoff intensified, the officers found themselves in the middle of a heated confrontation, unsure whether Haley's claims were legitimate or just a desperate attempt to dodge the inevitable. What really unfolded that day? Was there truth to her accusations? Or was it all just smoke and mirrors? What's going on? No, this this lady has been racial oh, like No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She just got me to me. No, oh, I just said if I was about to be kicked to Haley Garrett. Oh, Haley, you know oh, Yes, okay. You know, and we, we tried to resolve them. We gave her no, a No, 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 this lady. Have her hands. Haley, Haley, That's Haley. bullshit. They took my money today and now we're kicking me out. Haley, give me my money back Haley, and I'll leave. You still stop. have a balance that you owe. No, give me my money and I'll Haley, leave. Haley, first off, you... I'm going to make it Haley, worth this goddamn while. I'm about to touch this because she's racist as you're, no. You're, I'm not the only one that says that. I have her own recording. I, I, she has no issues with her, Haley. I, mean, I have Let's, everything on recording. A, Every time I come down here, I ask for a trash bag to move my laundry. Okay. And no, and she he wouldn't. She said, I, I'm tired of this. Like, that's the first thing. Not that racist. White it's bitch, a, I'm done with this. It's a private business. They can do whatever they want. She said, white bitch, I'm done with this. Yeah. I'm done with you. That's not, that's not racist. <laughs> no. Are you white? Yes. So how's that racist? White. Ain't calling you a cracker and all the other stuff. You're calling me white. You're like literally calling you the color of your skin, Haley. I, I have a name and they know it. Look, I, I Haley, I'm gonna be honest. I swear to God. Haley? Not Haley, God, on the Holy Bible, Haley. that I swear that this she is wrong. I constantly told her. My dog's upstairs. I was trying to get a tissue. I told Bag to move my laundry. laundry. Listen, when I and stay in my room, when I, I was gonna stay in my room after I moved my laundry. What is she supposed to leave like a week ago? How do you want to play? I could have had to let her stay earlier. My manager told me this is my decision, so I let her stay. If okay. I'm gonna be cute, how long has she been staying? Haley didn't pull any punches as she went head to head with hotel staff and police, adamant that she'd paid her bill and was being unjustly singled out. Yet, the story took a twist as staff and officers pointed out that Haley had already checked out but kept returning, adding layers to the drama. What's more, the officers knew her by name, hinting that this wasn't her first rodeo. With tensions rising, there were serious concerns that her erratic behavior might spiral out of control. Just, um, How long since has she been the beginning of January, I believe. I've been three, 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 three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. What? Right. Because yeah. all of my receipts. I gotta go. Just guess alright. Get, uh, me in the Okay, but yeah. the good thing is, you, they took my money. Can you listen to me, please? Uh, no, I don't owe nothing. Haley, can you please listen? <laughs> I owe because of Haley, this Haley, <laughs> can you please listen to me? If you, if you don't want to listen to me, I'll just put you outside. Uh -uh. You can either let me explain it to you, or you can just walk outside and all your stuff gets left behind. My dog. Option A or option B? What do you want? <laughs> huh? <laughs> B. Okay, private business. This is no, no Haley, let me tell you. It's, it's my turn to talk. This is a private business, Haley. You've never seen me this upset. Then why can't I get my money back? Because you have to sue them for the money. It's a small claims court. So go up, up there and start getting your stuff. I gotta get my clothes out of laundry work. Sam, I needed this as a bag. Right, come on, Haley. You, I'm you, you swear to God, that, Haley. that's why I asked her for it. Haley, Haley, they don't have to give you anything. No, ma'am. They don't they have to give you anything. They give everybody everything. But I don't want to do that. Sue them for it. Bag. Haley, that, sue them for it. <laughs> I'm for it. Dirty because it dirty clothes in it. Go. But I didn't, I didn't even argue with Haley, you. go. You're arguing with me. And here's where things get interesting. The hotel staff had a lot to say when the police arrived. She's been here for a while, hasn't she? No, she ain't been here for a week. Like I said, we can get rid of it. We can get rid of it. It's not. If you know, they can, they can extend it if they want to, but that's... That contract is still, they, they can give them weekly rate, okay. but this is not a apartment complex. It don't even go by the same room. And just she just, had to leave here when you talk about a week ago, she had to leave here, and then two nights later, she came back again. So she didn't check out? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
It's because I was say because if she's really been here for about a month solid, she I, can't, no I can't like did check out. She came back. No, in. we 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 want her out. We trying to. I know. That's what I'm saying. She checked out, came back in. Exactly. There you go. That's all I need. Yeah. She's crying over a trash. You don't have to give her a trash bag for her clothes. You're an adult. Have a laundry basket. When I tell you, you shouldn't cost us all kinds of money. I know. I know who she is. It's a shame that you knew. That's what. Can I do anything? Come on, Haley. You gotta get your stuff. Let's go. Let's give you guys share the right there. Uh, that's fine. That's your right, Haley. Please don't do anything. Haley, it's a private business. I guess I'll turn it inside out. It is a little chocolate in this barrel. Yes, sir? Eric is my name. Yeah, Eric. Eric. Just say Eric. Eric, what's going on? That was just still wet, sir. That's fine. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, he's trying to keep me out. And you see my receipts. It's every night that she's on. No, this is more civilization. Haley. I have nowhere to go. Do you know when I go up? I get it, Haley. I'll be calling you because I'm being raped. Correct. It's so good. No, I don't mind being kicked out. Haley, we've talked about it. I don't want to explain it again. Haley was relentless. Despite numerous warnings from the police, she refused to back down, turning every request into a heated argument. Her stubborn defiance not only prolonged the standoff, but also fueled the rising tension, making it clear she was willing to push the limits as far as they would go. The question now was, how much longer could she keep this up before things took a turn for the worse? I don't want to be homeless again. That's something you have to take up to them in small claims court, Haley. No, because they took my money and still kicked me out. That's a small claims court issue, Haley. If he is an attorney, he'll tell you that's a small claims issue. I know, but this is wrong. So it's come on, Haley. I don't know. Hey, back hey, on I, I, you already acknowledge that we know each other, so it's hard for me to believe that you might not have done no, something. No, because I was doing So come on, right. Haley. I didn't do it. Yes, ma'am. As a conservative attorney, you have to say it's when she first came here. Like, I'm telling you, we've been, we've been going through some changes. The first time she checked in here, which is, today is the third, she checked out on, what day is that show that she checked out on? No, she checked out the 13th. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, of course. That's like a week or two. Exactly. Oh, I was telling the officer, he already knows her. <laughs> oh, we all know her. Let me say, I don't know. Nah, she's just known as the crazy lady at the bourbon. <laughs> That's how we know. Whenever some, someone calls 911, it's some like weird like things like, oh, someone's shooting up in the suburban. She's a dry dry. Legitimately, there's a supervisor. When someone calls from here, the first thing he says is, is it the crazy lady. And then if it's her phone number, he won't send anybody. Look, they say when they when the first thing they The police quickly determined that Haley's case was a civil matter, a dispute over payment and contracts rather than a criminal offense. They advised her to take her grievances to small claims court, stressing that this was a legal issue, not one for law enforcement to settle. However, Haley's refusal to accept this resolution, coupled with her escalating theatrics, hinted at deeper issues or past encounters that could spell trouble ahead. Her relentless defiance left the officers on edge, wary of what might unfold next. All the housekeepers will tell you. That's why I'm still here because the housekeepers know. Oh, Haley. No, it's I didn't check out and check back in. I didn't. That's what I said. I never right left. Oh, unfortunately, when you told me last time I was here, you were checking out, and the paperwork shows you checked out. Sir, I'm telling stuff. you, I got all the receipts. Please come here, quick. Oh, Erica. Please come here. At the end of the day, she, did, she put herself in this predicament. You didn't. You have a business to run. You have to take care of the other customers. Haley, you're about to have... I'm not going to let you get your stuff. I'm on the phone with my lawyer. Get my your stuff. The way here. You can grab your stuff. He's on his Haley, on go. His we're grabbing your stuff and you're getting out of here. I just told you it's going to take a minute because... You know, That's why we're here. Let's go. Go get it. That phone was up right here, too. Sorry. No, keep on. No. Trust her. I need all those. Okay, it's gonna sure. We're not gonna. Officer, wait a few seconds. I'll be there. We're not. You don't want to be up on this. I'm sorry. This is a hotel. We're about to shut it down. That's why I'm crying so bad. They don't want you here. Normally, if I was fucking in the boat, I would not be crying. I would put my hands behind my back. I'm gonna leave. 
you want to go to jail? That's fine, but you're going to do Let's go get your stuff, Haley. My dog is here. Haley, go get your dog. She won't. She won't. If you go to jail, that's the dog's going. So get your stuff. That's exactly what we thought, Haley. I'm not doing this today with you. Get your shit. Dog is here. An emotional animal? Like, I left her here because I was literally going down and getting on the ground. Come on. Can you get your stuff and hold the dog? You can put the dog up. I got a lot of stuff. Put the dog in the carrier. Open the grab closet. the rest of your stuff. Get the carrier. Open the closet. It's right there. Grab your stuff. And let's go. Get the goddamn. I need I that. I don't care about that. I can't carry all my shit. Well, you're going to have to figure it out. Haley, Haley. Ask Hayley. them next door. It doesn't door. matter. It doesn't matter. Ask them next door Hayley. because they put cheap on my money on their room. But you're about. No, Haley. My patience is running thin with you. I don't care. Haley's defiance only grew as she ignored the officer's clear instructions, refusing to vacate the premises. With patients wearing thin, the officers issued a stern warning. If she continued to obstruct their orders, she risked being arrested for trespassing, a charge that could lead to serious legal repercussions. The looming threat of arrest cast a shadow over the standoff, amplifying the urgency for Haley to reconsider her actions before the situation spiraled completely out of control. And you can pick it up in the court system. What? Let's Sally. go. We're done. This is the yellow book bag. And we're done. The yellow book bag. I'm not. Grab the yellow book bag. Walk. Let's go. The yellow book no, bag. Man. Let's go. Out the door now. The Haley. yellow book bag. Haley, go. The Haley, yellow book bag. Go. No, see, we're done. See, Haley, it's right here. Haley, we're and done. That's my dog. Done. Haley, stop this. It's right there at the bottom. It's at no. the bottom, sir. Like, it's in the Go. Start walking now. That's wrong. As Walk you're now, a kid. Haley. Go. You're a shit. You ran your mouth. You're done. No, Let's go. I didn't. Haley, start I going. I told you about what she was doing to me. Go. That's all I Haley, ran my um, mouth about. You grab me again and I will get you for unsubordination. I swear to God. Uh, no, because no. I have a dog on my back and a much animal. Stop acting a fool. Stop. I'm not. I'm Get just, an elevator. We have the yellow book bag. Haley, elevator. Is it unlocked? No, it's, hey. it's locked. Well, she can call the GM. I need my I'm trying. I'm trying to get my earbuds. I don't care about your earbuds. I want the key to that room. Let's go. You hurt me. That's fine. You can believe that all you want. <laughs> like, you hurt me. For no reason. You should have listened to me. I didn't, like, uh, come at you. You, you have no reason to put your hand. Oh, yes, ma'am, I do. No, you don't. I have no reason to put your hand. No, you don't. Oh, yes, ma'am. No, you don't. Go. But you don't. Yeah, see, it's moved. They, they put it behind right there see, for you. Sir. Haley, grab the bag. I'm you done. Know. We're, I'm, I'm beyond done. Your dog's about to go to animal control and you're going to jail. Grab the bag. He heard everything. It doesn't matter. Grab the bag. That is a civil issue in the court system. We're walking out the door. Talk to her. We're walking out the door. I never want to talk to her. We're walking out the door. You hear that, Haley? She just trespassed. I don't give a damn. Haley, go. I now. know people that know you. Haley. Go f*** you up. Because that's wrong for her. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. I, I don't that. want to hurt your dog, so stop. I didn't do anything. I'm not trying to hurt I your didn't. dog. Stop. I was going out the no, door. We're, we're past all this, Haley. No, you're not. Yes, ma'am. You're going to break my arm. Stop. Haley, I'm trying not to hurt your dog. We're stop. I ain't got no reason to be arrested, sir. Ow. Trying not to hurt your damn dog, so stop. You have no reason to arrest. Thank you, Erica. You know I'm better than this. Then stop so I don't hurt your dog. Erica. I don't want to hurt your dog. Stop. Let's take this off. Take, get You're your arm out. Get you my emotional animal. Haley, <laughs> I'm trying not to hurt the dog. Please. I didn't do anything that bad. I didn't even talk to you. Haley, you're, you're going to jail. I don't know, she wants to threaten her until it's No, 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 no. So we're going to jail. That's bullshit. Like, Let's look go. at the recording. Come on. Hey. Ow. Haley, really? <laughs> Walk. Please, uh, it doesn't matter. She's going to jail. I'm here. I'm here. Please. Please, sir. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. So, please. Get I know you're car. irritated. I know you're Get irritated. Get in the car, Haley. I, I know you're irritated. Please stop. Please stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. I will talk to you.
Just as the situation seemed to have peaked, the drama took an unexpected turn with the sudden arrival of a lawyer Haley had frantically summoned. This last minute twist added a new layer of tension, leaving everyone wondering whether this legal intervention would defuse the situation or ignite it further. Yes, sir, I was here earlier no, today. You here with us and her. I, I was here earlier today. Okay. I've been dealing with this all day, mm -hmm. okay? They tell her she's gonna get kicked out. So okay. they know I come here, so they give me these uh, mm -hmm. all these bills. Here it is. Civil. Up until today even. That's a civil okay. issue. If you're really an attorney like she said, then you know it's a civil issue. She got kicked oh, out you know. and when I, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. She was sick. Stop. She, I'm tired. No. I'm tired of this bullshit. You're not going to yell at me. I just Walk yelled away. at you. We're done. You're not involved in this bullshit. league. Go away. I'm going to get her I'm stuff. I'm giving you a lawful order to get out of here. I'll get her dog. Yeah. Why didn't you wait a second? Keep I walking. On the phone I'm, Go. I'm telling you, I'm about to ask you, I'm going to put you in jail for obstruction. So what? Did she give you the case? I got two. I gave it to him. Okay. Him. And if you're willing to talk, I'll tell you exactly what happened. If you're willing to have an adult conversation. But real quick, listen. Listen, I was just hearing what happened, okay? Last time I was here with her, she told me specifically she was moving out. Oh, yeah, you were here when I was moving out last time. The stuff says she checked out came back in. So she's no longer long-term. So when I tell her she needs to leave, I gave her opportunity to get her stuff. She wants to run her mouth to me and tell me she's going to hit me in the fucking face. And when we get down here, she says she's going to find someone to harm this woman and that she's not going to leave. That's why she gets drug out like that. So before you want to start yelling at us and telling us we're not doing our job, I'll let you sit there and wait for us to talk to you so you know exactly what's going on. Oh, I know you. I know. So you know exactly what we just dealt with. So you know she probably did something stupid if I'm dragging her out. Because I came here. But none of that matters. That is a civil issue. That is all civil. You sued them in the court system over this. What I'm saying is, I come here today. They said, okay, you can stay. So they can, they but they're a private business. They can do all that crap. Thousand dollars to be treated like this. One day, you know. To be honest with you, I come here all the time for Haley. You should see how she treats them, even when they're being nice. But she's just as guilty when it comes to treating people wrong. Because we come here all the time for how she treats people. She's getting back to whatever she's dishing. And she's calling you saying that she's the victim. So you can go grab her stuff. And uh, here I am trying to get her to leave and her dog almost got hurt. And she's still sort of fighting with the dog on the back. She, if, if I take her away from here... Well, she's going to jail tonight. We're past that. If she wants to put in a predicament where that poor puppy's going to get hurt because her attitude and threaten people, she's going to jail. So if you would like to get her stuff for her, you can. But she'll be in the Stanley County Jail tonight. After a tense stretch in the back of the patrol car, Haley claimed she had cooled off and was prepared to talk things through calmly. But the momentary calm didn't last. Her simmering frustration quickly resurfaced, reigniting the chaos and making it clear that the situation was far from resolved. Sir? Are you ready to talk now, Haley? Yes, sir. First off, I need you to face that way. Face that way so I can double lock your cuffs. Double lock for what? Because you're going to jail. No, for what? No, like, I'm trying to, like, leave. That's why he's here. Oh, you're going to jail. No, I'm no, sir. You. Haley, I need to face I one. just now was trespassing. Haley, this after, is going to hurt. After being Haley, I'm trying not to hurt you. I just paid. I just paid my rent. I swear to God, I just paid my rent. They shouldn't take my money. I sir, please you. don't take me to jail. Please, please, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to I, I swear to God, please, I, I will leave. <sighs> I mean, it almost had to hurt that dog because the little puppy almost got hurt because I. He knows. I was ready to move my stuff. Please, he knows you're going to jail. Please, my dog. Please. He's going to take care of your dog. Lawyer has it. Please. Your fake no, lawyer has it. They can have the money if they want to. They're yeah, because if he's, a, if he's an attorney, he knows not to bother a police investigation. Yeah, if he was a police officer, I don't care. Please, sir. Please. I'm begging you. Well, that was really his bar, so they know I'm better. Sorry, please. Please, sir. Please. Please don't take me away from her. Please. Haley, how do I spell your first name? Please don't take me away from her. Haley, how do I spell your first name? What's your birthday, Haley? Haley, what's your birthday? We're now we're past all that. You're in a you're a grown adult. My rights here. Now we're past that, Haley. No, please don't be. Three forty three. Please, sir, I'm begging. Please. Please. Two eight seven. Haley's continued defiance against the hotel's eviction notices ultimately led to her arrest for trespassing and obstruction. Despite numerous chances to peacefully resolve the conflict, her refusal to cooperate not only resulted in her own detainment, but also endangered her dog, which faced the risk of being sent to animal control. 
This incident serves as a critical reminder of the importance of respecting private property rights and following legal eviction procedures. Disputes with service providers should be approached with calm negotiation and legal action if necessary, rather than escalating tensions to the point of arrest. What do you think is the best way to handle such situations? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. As we move on to the next situation involving the next woman. Hey, Sheriff's Office, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, 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 stop. On October 7th, 2023. FCSO delegates received a call from a Walgreens store in Palm Coast, Florida regarding a woman who left with a cart full of merchandise without paying. Witnesses reported that she had been aggressive towards staff and customers before leaving. Police located the woman walking on the sidewalk, pushing the cart filled with stolen items. Officers approached and tried to speak with the suspect, but she immediately became hostile towards them. Please. Hey, Sheriff's Office, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hey. Okay. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. Let me go. Listen, relax. Let me go. You, okay? Relax. No, it ain't over. It, it, it is ain't over. It over. It is over. You just stole from, from Walton Clark. No, I didn't. I'm going to pay for it. Okay, we'll go back and pay for it. Right, what I need go. you to do, no, no what I need uh -uh. you to do is you're going to go in handcuffs. Hey. I'm stop back some motherfucker. Hey, I need you to stop, okay? You're making this situation a lot harder on yourself, okay? Oh, get the off me! I ain't resisting nobody. There you are. I'm not. You need to relax. <laughs> the police told Sheffield that she had just stolen from Walgreens. At first, she denied stealing, but then said she would come back to pay for the items. Well, she thought that lying would instantly make the police believe her so she could run away. And that's just plain silly. As soon as the police mentioned they would handcuff her, the woman became resistant, fighting and kicking the officers. The deputies managed to control Sheffield and prepared to take her into the police car. But it was indeed not an easy task facing this woman. <laughs> really? Yeah. What, what is that? Yeah. Y'all don't even know, listen, y'all don't even know who I am. Well, we're just don't even down. know who the f*** I am, so y'all need to let me go. He just tried to bite me. No, I ain't tried to bite no fuck. Yeah, he did. There you go again, trying to bite you. Hey, hey. No, what? I said let me go. Get them motherfuckers off of me. We ain't gonna Get let them you off go. of me. They shut me on me now, I'm a f***. Stand up. Y'all gonna f***ing do what's right by me. We're gonna roll over, we're gonna stand up, okay? Y'all gonna do what's f***ing right by me. You know what I mean? Sit up. We're not saying you're going to jail, nothing like that. Well, let me go. Relax. Let me f***ing go, son. Stand up. You police officer. Are you a police officer? Are you a police officer? You need to be f***ing taken care of me. Stand up. Hey, I'm not f***ing playing with you. Get my f***ing purse. All right. Hey, it's fine. You have a power back there? Get in this mother You let me go. You ain't done any goddamn thing I told you. Like I'm sit, I'm sit. Listen, I tell you what you're going to do. I'm going to sit right here, and then you're going to talk to me, and you're going to question me. I'm not going nowhere. Sheffield resisted and kept uttering rude words and even threatening the police. She believed she had rights and that no one was allowed to touch her. The police tried to get Sheffield into their car. Even when inside the vehicle, she continued to shout and be disrespectful toward the arresting officers. Don't you dare put your hands on me like that goddamn kid. So disrespectful. Hey How y'all doing? Good. Thank you for responding. Yeah, she she put up a little. So you guys do want to pursue charges? We said to pursue charges. Okay. Neither of us were coming back to get the stuff. The manager that's on duty is in the store. Okay. Obviously, training receipt for the items. Okay. And then that would be awesome for us. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Does everything in there look like it belongs to the store? Let's take a picture of that. It did. It did. It did. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, all she had was her uh, the little fanny pack. Thing, so. Yeah. Walgreens employee later arrived and identified Sheffield as the person who stole items from their store. The police questioned Walgreens staff about accusing Sheffield. They decided not to prosecute Sheffield for retail theft, but there would be a permanent ban on Sheffield entering Walgreens. 
Afterwards, Walgreens staff retrieved the stolen items from Sheffield Shopping. Hey, Jennifer, how you feeling? You okay? You calm down a little bit? I'm sorry that everything happened the way that it did. You just a little upset? What are you upset about? You know what I mean? I just don't want to see you steal from stores to try to feed yourself. You know, I hate that you have to do that. Later, Sheffield was arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest with violence. In today's story, we witnessed how a lack of self-control and disregard for the law can lead to chaotic and dangerous situations. It's important to remember that resisting arrest and causing public disturbances not only puts you at risk, but also jeopardizes the safety of those around you. Respecting the law and cooperating with authorities are key to maintaining order in our communities. Let's learn from this and strive to handle conflicts calmly and responsibly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Stay safe and see you next time.